Okay, so welcome back to part 7 of this web design tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks to all the people who have left comments. Uh, it's really appreciated. If there's anything that you need to ask or you want, then just uh, send me a message on YouTube. Okay, so first of all, we I made a mistake with one of the images in the last episode. So if we open up Photoshop, and if we click File Open, and in our structure folder, we create we saved the file called save upload this file here so if we just open this I'll show you what I mean as you can see there's the there's the the, the image yet the whole page is massive so we need to, we need to shrink that down so the first thing we want to do if we just zoom in there's the actual image we need we don't need all the all the stuff around it so if we click on the crop tool if we zoom in a bit more by the way, to zoom in on the keyboard, it's Control and the plus symbol, and to zoom zoom out, it's plus and the minus key. So if we select the the icon, like so, double click, and that's now saved it. So we do File, Save for Web and Devices, click on Save, and then just overwrite the file we created to start with. You'll get this dialog box. Just click on Replace. And that's now sorted. So if we come out of this, do file, open recent product layout, and now we're back to the Photoshop design. So let's just recap where we left off with our design. So if we open up the site, go to our master page, click on design. Okay, so we've got the left hand side sorted. We just need to populate the right hand side now. So the first thing we're going to do. If we click on source and go to our design, so we're basically working in the billboard content and we need to put our next bit of code underneath the H4. So to save a bit of time, I'm going to copy and paste in the code and I'll explain as I go. Okay, so what we've done here, we're creating another div with an ID called billboard icons. So inside of this div, we've got four images. These are the images we created earlier on. So if I just save the page, if we just preview that in design mode, as you can see the icons have been added, but they're all the way over to the left. We need to put them onto the right, so that's easily enough to do. So if we jump over to our CSS, we need to style this billboard icons div. Okay, so if we come down to here, and again I'm going to copy and paste it in. Okay, so billboard icons, what we're going to do here, we're going to float the div, so basically align it to the right. We're going to give it a width of 270 pixels and a height of 50 pixels. So if we save the style sheet, come back to the design view, and as you can see, they've now moved over to the right hand side. So if we go back to our Photoshop design, if you can see the icons now, they're aligned to the right hand side. Um, but they actually line up uh, right to the edge of the of the site here. So if we go back to ours, ours aren't over over here. So we can fix that with a bit of CSS. So if we go back to our style sheet and create another style underneath, okay. So this is targeting the billboard icons, same as before, but we're actually saying the images inside of the billboard icons div we want to give it a padding left of 30 pixels so if we save the page and there you go as you can see now they've shifted to the right and they've now got 30 pixels of padding in between each one okay so now that the icons are in place if we go back to Photoshop we now need to add in the, the text below it um, so that's quite easy to do so if I go over to Visual Web Developer and then we want to add the code for the text just here underneath the, the billboard image I'm going to paste the code in okay so the code that I've just put in is obviously this code here so we've created again another div with an ID called billboard text and inside the text we've got a h5 tag and a couple of paragraphs with the, the text inside. 
So if we just show that in design view, and as you can see, it all looks a bit all looks a bit wrong here. Uh, it's all come underneath. It doesn't look right at all. So obviously, we need to style the the text. So if we just save the master page and go back to the style sheet, so let's create a bit of space. So here we are going to style the following. So the billboard text div itself, here we're going to float to the right, same as we did the billboard icons, we're going to give it a width of 500, the height is going to be auto, so it, it expands and contracts with the, the content inside, and then we're going to give it a bit of padding, it's a bit of margin, sorry, of 20 pixels on the top. So if we just save the style sheet, come back to the master page, as you can see it looks a lot better now but we still need to get it up into this empty space above. Now the reason why this is down here is because this image is forcing it below. So what we need to do is we need to tell this image to float to the left and then what will happen then this div that's floated to the right will move up into place. So if we just go back to the style sheet and we add the following to this here. So float left. If we go back to our master page, and as you can see the text has now gone into place and it's sitting next to the image. Okay, so if we go back to Photoshop, we are now starting to get the same effect, but we need to style the actual text now uh, to make it look the same. So if we go back to Visual Web Developer and go back to our source view. So inside of the billboard text, which we've just styled, We've got a H5 tag, so if we come back to our style sheet, and then if we if I copy in the following text, okay, so again we're targeting the billboard text, but we're being really specific and saying the H5, only the H5 in that div, we want to do the following, we want to give it a font size of 13, the font colour of that, and we want a bit of margin bottom of 15. So if I save style sheet, come back to design view, and there you go, you can see now that's changed, it's changed colour as well, and it's actually given it a bit of spacing um, underneath this, and obviously above this it gives you that bit of space, because you don't want your text on top of each other. Okay, so the next stage is, if we go back to the source, the next tag is this paragraph tag, so we've got a paragraph there and a paragraph here. So we need to style that, so if we go to our style sheet, and again we're being specific here, so we're saying the billboard text, any paragraph in the billboard text area, we can give it a margin bottom of 20 and a colour of this colour here. So if I save the page, come back to design view, okay and there you go, so it's now changed colour. We've got the, the margin bottom here and here, but obviously the, the font is a bit too big now. So if we give the if we change the font size, so if we go to style sheets and for the P for the paragraph if we say font size, if we give it 13 pixels. And as you can see it's now changed. I think what we should do actually, because that's the same size as the, the little heading there, if we go back to the style sheet and give the heading 14. Okay, there you go, so that looks better now. So obviously that's you can see that a lot bigger than the two paragraphs there. So if we now go back to Photoshop, we're getting very close now to finishing the the billboard. The only thing we need to do now is add in the two buttons here. What I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to leave it at that for now, uh, and in the next uh, episode we will actually finish off those two buttons um, and carry on with the, the design. If you actually like these videos, please subscribe to the channel, and um, again, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below or send me a message.